about the 2030 agenda, there's certain kinds of places and issues that are hotspots. And African cities are absolutely up there. And that's partly for really positive reasons. Um, African cities are where there are lots of young people, lots of interesting ideas, lots of opportunities, plenty of scope for innovation. Um, and to be honest, it's also one of the places where the needs in terms of 2030 interventions are greatest. What the LIRA program is trying to do is to work with transdisciplinary science um, and I think that this is really, really important. These are complex issues that we're dealing with in Africa and they need complex responses. On my part as a researcher, I think transdisciplinary approach is important because in the past we have done other research that we took the other approach where we only engage the community and the policy makers at the end of the project and most often the impact is not usually felt in the society because we just give them our reports and they keep them on the shelves. The LIRA research program is actually starting to create um, a new culture of research. A new culture of research that starts off with uh, scientists and researchers working very closely with all the different stakeholders, policymakers, communities, uh, professional organizations and private sector to really uh, interrogate the existing challenges but also opportunities and leverage those to transform the cities in Africa. I would say the most exciting thing about working in a transdisciplinary manner is getting to learn the different ways in which people think and work. For me, the diversity uh, enriches the knowledge. LIRA is one of these exceptional programs which came with the resources, created space and momentum for the scientists and mostly the early career scientists to think locally what the problems are and to think locally what the solutions of those problems are. I think it's very important to involve community members uh, when doing local level research because the communities know their neighborhoods best. It's really inspiring to see, to be within this network and to see people doing this work. But TD Research in general has just its taught me to be a very, or well, trying to be a more empathetic researcher and to try to bring an element of humility into the work that I do. By creating an internal relationship where Angola works with South Africa, where Senegal works with Abidjan and Cote d'Ivoire, you're creating a network, a group of, you know, willing, uh, a network of experts that will really respond to that. And you can see that trust being reflected in the way we interact and the way we try to produce science to support the questions and the challenges we have in our cities. So the LIRA program has been, in my view, one of the most exciting and innovative new interventions in the, the global science community for a series of reasons. One is that it's investing in a new generation of scientific leaders. The second is that it's trying to create exactly that kind of specialist generalist, if you like, that is able to deal with complexity and able to speak across more than one case. And it's that kind of leader, of thought leader, of science leader, that is necessary to change the direction in line of the 2030 agenda.